Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of growing money over time. This is standard 8.12c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 29 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a teacher that's opening an investment account at a bank. And at the end of each year, the bank paid 6.4% annual simple interest. All right, so annual just means at the end of each year. Simple interest uh, is going to be the principal times the rate times the time. Uh, that's your simple interest right there, if you wanted to calculate it. And we're showing the activity of the account for three years and looking for a statement as to why the balance has grown. So we're looking for a true statement. So let's take a look at our table here. What's going on? So year one, at the beginning of the year, all right, we started with nothing. Looks like we're depositing $500 a year, okay? So if you had zero interest, uh, then you would have $1,500 at the end of the three years. Um, so the new balance is now $500 because zero. So we're going to add zero plus 500 equals your 500. But then you get this interest rate. So at the end of the year, right, the interest is the principal 500 times the rate, 6.4% times the time one year. And that is going to equal... Uh, $32. So now you've got to add this 32, add that to the 500, and there you go. There's your 532. Now you come back down to the second row. You're starting with your 532. You're still going to add that 500 that you do every year, but look at that. Now your balance is not just 1,000, it's 1,032 because you're including the $32 of interest that you paid, you were paid last year still going to pay interest, get interest on that 6.4%. So now we're going to take our $66. We more than doubled our interest because we more than doubled our principal. That's the difference right there. The principal changes. Add those two together. Look at that. Now we've got $1,098.05, almost $100 extra. Bring that down here. Add your 500 that you do every year. Now your new principal is $15.98.05. Look at this interest. This interest is going up to $100. So in three years, take a look at this. You are depositing $500 a year, right? Every single year you're depositing $500. By the end of three years, this interest is almost 20% of that. You're gaining interest a decent amount of interest uh, just for letting your money sit in there and then obviously you're up to 1700 bucks. Now this is assuming you're taking out uh, nothing. You're not making any withdrawals. But that, if you keep it that 500, that interest is going to pretty much uh, overtake your deposits after a few years. So let's see why the balance is growing. The balance A in the account has grown only because regular deposits. Nope. We do have regular deposits, but what about our interest rate? So that's going to be incorrect. B, the balance in the account has grown because regular deposits were made, yes, $500 a year, and interest was earned on the previous year's balance. Yeah, that's that interest. It's two sources of growth, the deposits and the interest rate. So that's looking pretty good. Let's check C. The balance in the account has grown only because interest was earned. Now, see, look at this. C is kind of like A. It's only looking at one source of growth, the interest. What about our deposits? We need our deposits. That's incorrect. D, there's not enough information. No, we do have enough information. All the data is in front of us. We even have the equation. If we really wanted to, we could calculate how that interest, 6.4%, is calculated into how much interest is earned each year and obviously we just add it up to get our new balance so our answer here is b